Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, and happy first Sunday of Advent. So as you know, Advent is the four weeks in December before um, the week of Christmas. So wherever Christmas falls, it's four Sundays before that is when Advent starts. So today is December 2nd and the first official day of Advent. In this series, um, I will be doing a reflection of the readings, um, which I will read all three for you each day, or each Sunday. Um, I'm doing it every Sunday and then maybe on Christmas Eve night, um, since you can either do a Christmas Eve vigil for Christmas, or you can do the Christmas Day Mass. Um, so I'll probably be doing those five. I wanted to do um, at least these four just to kind of mix up the things that are happening on my channel um, and to give you guys a resource to use if you want to use this um, to help you on your Advent journey in the four weeks. We will begin with Jeremiah 33, 14 through 16. Um, I will be reading them from my computer because the Bible that I have is not the same version as the readings and I want to give you guys the right translation so that when you go to mass you'll be hearing the same things here and there. So I am using um, the USCCB which is the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Um, it's just a website that has daily readings. Um, it has all the parts of the mass in it. Um, it has other resources on there as well so you can go check that out um, for yourself. So the first reading is Jeremiah 33, 14 through 16. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I have made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord our justice. So then the second reading is 1 Thessalonians 3, 12 through 4, 2. All right. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so that as to strengthen your hearts, so to be blameless in holiness before God and Father. At the coming of our Lord Jesus, with all his holy ones, amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves, so yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. Then the gospel is Luke 21, 25 through 28, and 34 through 36. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming on in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life. And that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. Okay, so I'll set that aside. So, um, to start with, um, I want to talk about Advent as a whole um, and kind of why I decided to do this um, as one of the things for Advent. Um, so, 
Advent is a time where we are prepping ourselves for Jesus' second coming. Um, we are looking ahead um, to remember his first coming, and then at that time also, excuse me, also remember his second coming, um, which is still to happen. Um, so as Catholics, this is what we believe. Um, and so Christmas is a time where we kind of look back and reflect um, almost like you would on Christmas, on New Year's Eve when you're looking back the year and then looking forward at the next year, but we look back at Christ's birth and we look forward to his second coming. So, in the second reading, and also in some of the other ones, it really is talking about Jesus coming again, and like, he's coming in clouds, there will be tribulations, and they've kind of been foretelling this for a while in the Gospels on Sunday, so if you've been paying attention, this is what you've been hearing. Um, so it's really reminding us, especially in the last one, to be alert. Um, it says, beware that your hearts do not become drowsy. So it's really like a reawakening of our senses um, and our focus of what we should be focusing on. So, Advent is this time where we do that, where we awaken ourselves again and remind ourselves what our focus should be um, in the hopes that when the time comes, we will be prepared um, and we will be ready to join God in heaven. Um, so, Advent also reminds us that while we wait and prepare to remember Jesus' birth, we should remember that he is coming back again. So, the time of Advent should be used to prepare our hearts for that time. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about how, how I wanted to talk a little bit about how I will be preparing myself um, in my heart um, and hopefully give you guys ideas. So one thing is by doing this for you all, um, coming up with these reflections and reading these readings with you. Um, I will be going to mass on Sundays as always. I'm hoping to get to a couple daily week masses. Um, I usually go on Wednesday nights at um, our Newman Center. I also have the opportunity to go during the week, um, so I want to do that. There's also adoration on Thursdays, so I want to go and spend a little bit of time doing that. Just to be with Jesus in this time, be open to him, be preparing myself um, to meet him someday, I guess. Um, I also have the Blessed Is She Advent book. Um, currently it is wrapped. Let me show you what my mom did, first of all. So, I'm at college. And college students need things to remember. So, she has, like, this bag of gifties. Um, so, like, she's numbered them, and there's 19 of them. So, it's counting down to when I go back. Um, starting from December 1st all the way to when I go back on the 19th. So this is my Blessed Is She book. <laughs> she wrapped it. Um, so, I will be opening that on the 1st. So I'm not going to open it early. I'm waiting. It will be open by the time this video goes live. It's live. But up until that point, um, I don't really know what's in it. Um, Blessed Is She is a great resource if you have not heard of them, um, especially for Catholic women want to grow in holiness. Um, there are lots of other things out there if that's not something that applies to you or not something you're interested in. Um, you could do daily readings for yourself. Um, go to the USCCB website and just do the daily readings. Um, I know there's some email subscriptions that are free that you can get um, the, the readings sent to your mailbox. Um, and so you could do that as well. Um, one more thing that Catholics do is we have Advent wreaths. Um, so this is one of the candles. Usually you'd actually have a candle, but you light one per week, and there are four weeks. So I have four of these. So the first two are purple, the third one is pink, and the fourth one is purple. So um, I did post a video already showing you how I've already decorated my room for Christmas. So I'll link that at the end of this video so you can all see that. Um, I I also did a walkthrough of my planner so you can see how that is happening. Um, but one thing I want to remind you all is that our focus shouldn't be on the 
Christmas really until it gets closer. Um, some people wait to decorate their house for Christmas until the day before Christmas on Christmas Eve. Um, sometimes that's not possible and I understand that and I do not do that. Um, but that is a good way to be anticipating and waiting for Christmas and then enjoy the Christmas season once it's here. Because Christmas isn't just one day, there's like a Christmas season. Um, so, um, oh, here. So another thing I'm doing is I have an advent calendar card um, that I will be opening one flap a day. So you can do that as well. It's like, oh, I have a star or I have a shepherd or something. And be like, oh, how does that apply to the store? Um, another great way is just open your Bible to the Gospels. Um, I think John has a lot of, um, no, Luke has a lot of the readings. Um, some of them don't cover Jesus' birth, some of them do. Just kind of take a peek, see what's um, interesting for you, and kind of read the Christmas story. Um, so I hope that those are all ideas that you can use. I hope that you do um, watch these videos so that um, you at least get this in your preparation. Um, so I guess my challenge for us this week is to really think about how we're going to be preparing our hearts for Christ and really reflecting on like where where am I in my faith and where do I want to be and like kind of how can I get there. So if you need help with that please put comments down below. If you have great ideas about that put those down there too. I really want this to be a journey of us um, journeying together to Christmas. So please start a conversation down there. I would love to talk to you all. Um, subscribe to my channel, click the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. Um, I will be still posting on Wednesdays as well as these Sundays. Um, and I hope that you all have a very blessed Advent, um, and then eventually Merry Christmas.